Hi, my name is Linnea Imam, and I'm the owner of And the Minotaur. You're in my home studio today for a demonstration for the DRA and this month's virtual First Friday. My work is inspired by Greek mythology and the landscapes of Western North Carolina. You can catch up with me on Etsy, Facebook, and Instagram at And the Minotaur to see about local pop-ups I'll be selling at and when my monthly Etsy shop updates will be. Today, I'm gonna to be making one of my favorite pairs to wear and definitely one of my best sellers, my sterling silver snake earrings. And I'm gonna make them with Newlander turquoise. So let's get started. The first thing I do is take drawings of my snakes and glue them to my sterling silver sheet. Then, with my jeweler saw, I saw those bad boys out one at a time. When I have a matching set, it's time to stamp my maker's mark on the back and a .925 stamp to indicate genuine sterling silver. I hammer the snakeskin texture to the front of both snakes. Once I have the texture to my liking, I'll clean up the edges of each snake with my little hand files. I am obsessed with these new lander stones. They look like snakeskin. Now I'm going to make the settings for my stones. I'm doing bezel settings, so I'll make a little cup for each of the stones to sit in. Here I am, soldering the walls of each cup. Next, I take some more sterling sheet metal and solder the walls of the cups to the back plate. I can use my mini butane torch for this whole project because the pieces are so small. Once they're soldered, they'll get dunked in the pickle cleaning solution and sawed out. Then, I'll smooth out the edges of the cups with my hand file. Back to the snakes. 
I soldered jump rings to each end of each snake. Jump rings are our simple connectors. Once the solder flows, it's into the pickle to get clean. Bezel cups will get the same treatment. I'm going to take two lengths of silver wire to make my ear wires. With just the right amount of heat, I'll ball up the ends and then they get a bath in the pickle too. Here's where it all starts coming together. I'll assemble the bezel cups to the end of the snakes with another jump ring and those get soldered for durability. Ear wires get their first bend and soldered into place. Here are the final few bends for the ear wires, and then they'll get hammered for texture and strength. This anvil is definitely the cutest thing in my studio. I have my patina mixed up, and the clean snakes will go for a dip until they're almost black.
After they're the right color, I buff the patina off by hand. I like doing it this way so I can really control where I remove patina and where it gets to stay. The snakes now get bent into their final shape. Into the tumbler they go to get lightly polished and work hardened. Nice and shiny. Now over a polishing cloth, I set the stones and burnish the edges of the settings. I'll give the settings one final hand polish, and there they are. Those look pretty great, don't they? Thanks so much for watching. Connect with me on Etsy, Facebook, and Instagram at Ann the Minotaur to see what else I'm working on.